else talking, have you noticed? We were talking oh, Bobby Charlton. Oh, we were talking Bobby Charlton. Yeah, I, I, I was saying, because we got interrupted by the news, which is mm. fair enough, but yeah. uh, that Bobby Charlton would have been good in any era, I think. I'm glad you're philosophical about it, because I'm outraged that our musings about Bobby Charlton were interrupted by <laughs> world events. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've got their priorities. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Charlton, the only trouble with Bobby Charlton is, and he does, he's all those words, graceful, elegant, even though he doesn't look like a footballer. It, it's the usual argument. He smoked 20, 30 cigarettes a day. So it's one of my favourite uh, images still. His his last game was at Stamford Bridge, and there's a beautiful shot of the Chelsea players doing a sort of tunnel mm. parade thing mm. and giving him a present. And the present they give him, a professional footballer, is a solid silver cigarette case. Very useful. <laughs> which, is, which is really handy. So, I mean, that's the trouble with all these all these comparisons. That yeah. They go nowhere because footballers are just so fast and so fit that they, they he wouldn't mm. fit in, simple as that. But he is a, he's, a, he's a joy to it. I had the pleasure, I've met about six, I think, of the seven that are still remaining in that 66 team. And it is fascinating, despite the fact that yeah, I was joking about the game being bad, it was. But, I mean, these were mm. it was a fantastic, iconic event. I saw the last one I met was George Cohen, who I was working with, mm. doing some TV stuff for him, who's a delightful man, but mm. he's, he's slightly robust. In his, he's a man of his times. So mm. I, I happen to be with Henning Vane, German comedian. Oh, yes. He's obsessed with football. He loves, he's yeah, obsessed with football. Yeah. He's obsessed with 1966, he's still banging on about the goal going over the line, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <clears throat> but I thought I'll, I'll introduce Henning to George Cohen because he knows all about English football. So I, I mm. brought Henning over, said to George, who I'd spent a lovely morning, I said, George, this is my friend uh, Henning, Henning Vane. And George looked up, and then he said hello. George looked up, and he went, German, are you? <laughs> yeah, and he went, yeah. And George goes, 1966, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, said, I said, George, is that it? He went, yep. <laughs> and as, as Henning walked away, he went, uh, sorry, son. And Henning turned around, he went, 1945 as oh, well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just, wow. well Henning, Henning, of course, couldn't have been more pleased. He got a 15-minute routine out of it. Yeah. He was, he was, as we bundled that. him out of the door, shouting about goal line technology. Yeah. George <laughs> did well to recognise that Henning was German, because he has got a strange accent, Henning. Mm. He's yeah, a guest he on the show many it. times, but it's, it's, it's not... He's not from Wigan, is he? It's not an think, a, but it's not an atypical no, I mean, no. German accent. It's more the way he clicked his heels. <laughs> 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 Thank you.